Welcome to Escape This Podcast, a show that's a mix between tabletop role-playing and escape room puzzles. This is a slight divergence already from the normal structure of Season 10 because, Danny, we are going to play a room. And when I say we, I mean we. You Mm -hmm. and I are going to play another room. Yeah, we're not doing a full guest season this time, but nor are we doing a full me season because... Writing seven rooms is easier than writing ten rooms, I guess. So we'll throw in a couple of guest ones here and there. We don't have a plan for how many. It's not like you should expect a guest episode every X number of episodes. But this one is a guest Game Mastered episode. And we have returning guest Game Masters. They've previously brought us two rooms on the show. We've also live streamed another one of their rooms. Welcome back to the show, Scott and Molly Weiss. Welcome. Hello. Hello. Wonderful to be back. Yep. It's great to have you. Uh, Now... You've written a few games for us, uh, and you also, Mm. you run your games for other people as well, don't you? You, People can go to, what's the website? (laughs) Squonk.net? Squonkland.net. Squonkland. S-Q-U-O-N-K-L-A-N-D.net. (laughs) (laughs) And uh, yeah, you can play any of the rooms that we've done. Molly and I have written some together. I've written a couple uh, myself. You could even uh, play the room we're about to do with you if if one of your viewers or listeners want to... uh, to do it, they can uh, pause this episode right now and uh, come to the room with us and then come back and listen to you guys. It's a great way of doing it. Download this episode, pause this episode right now, go and play the room yourself, and then listen so that we can, you know, no, no, inadvertently no. compete. The better way to do it is download the episode now, listen through the whole thing, ah. then go and get Scott to run you through it and make and really impress him. There you and, go. And Molly, <laughs> just impress them with how smart, like, oh, maybe it's... Uh, I don't, I'm just pulling out nowhere. Maybe I have I tried a the code feeling. 2471. Mm, does that work? Yeah, no, I just felt right to me. Yeah, that's how you get them. Uh, so with that being said, should we know anything about the room that you're going to run for us today? It's called Espresso Crunch. Does it, is it going to be bad that neither of us drink <laughs> coffee? No, not drinking coffee should not affect your experience of this room. <laughs> Will we have to role play as people who do drink coffee? If you would like to, uh, but it's not a requirement. (laughs) Now, before we get to playing the room, I do have questions. And the first question is the same question that we always ask, which I suppose is an update as to our previous times we've asked you this question. This is an escape room show. What is your escape room experience? Is there anything new going on in the escape room? How has it changed in the Landscape of your life. So I guess in the last couple of years since we've been on the podcast. We have done a few in-person rooms nice. over the summer at the National Puzzlers League convention. We got to uh, do uh, a couple of rooms with a whole group of our friends. Can I plug the place? Plug away. Yeah, Unless we so hate it, uh, then, I'll, then I'll edit it out. There you go. Of course. It's, uh, I'm sure they'll be pleased. It's uh, Clue IQ in uh, Frederick, Maryland, and they have some really amazing rooms. Uh, we played uh, Crane Manor with them. They have a, a Christmas-themed room. And then uh, for a friend's birthday, we actually played another room there, Excalibur, which is a really, really fun King Arthur-inspired room. So we uh, we got to do that. Mm-hmm. Haven't done a lot of online rooms, no, I think, we recently. No, lately. Just we should busy. do some. We should do some. That's right. <laughs> so the other aspect of the show is it's a tabletop role-playing kind of spin uh, on escape rooms. Do you have any tabletop role-playing experience that's changed? I should get into it, but I have not really had much experience yet with role-playing. We're big board game fans, as I think you probably remember, and uh, we that's where most of our gaming uh, comes from. We got to play a great game, Clank Legacy, uh, which oh. had a little bit, I mean, it's a tiny bit of role playing, a little teeniest of role. We got to be characters <laughs> Just a flavor. in that Just a game. flavor of it. That was a really cool experience, like a, a campaign that ran over 10 different games that we uh, kind of modified the game as we played, so it was really a lot of fun. Mm, cool. Oh, that's wonderful. I've always been intrigued by the like those legacy versions of games and they always seem really in- interesting but almost it always stresses me out it's like no it's too much <laughs> i don't want to it's gonna i'm gonna do something wrong i don't i don't like this but i i, I should play some i think they're very there's a really interesting way of playing these games or like versions of them all right so we've asked our questions we've gotten all of the all of the preamble out of the way i've got my notebook danny are you ready to play yep. all right I, I think we're ready to go Okay, so you pull into a parking spot in the front of the coffee shop where you work when your cell phone rings. It's the coffee shop owner and your new boss. Thanks again for taking over at such short notice. The old manager seemed pretty disgruntled when I let him go. I hope you can figure out how his system worked. 
You reassure him that it won't be a problem. You've dealt with complex situations before, but he continues. Well, you'd better work fast. I just got word that Arthur Codswallop, reviewer from the Upper Codswallop News, is coming by today. A good review will do wonders for the shop. Whatever you can do to make him happy would be great. Good luck. He hangs up before you can ask any more. So now you can look at the map, which should be the first link. And again, for all of these images, they'll be in the show notes for people who want to have a look at them themselves. I still want to draw it myself, though. I still want to take some time and draw I'm going to draw my own version of the map. <laughs> <laughs> so you go through the front door of the shop, and the front half is taken up with tables and chairs. There are a few patrons already here, including one sitting at the big booth by the fireplace. And a short hallway leads off of the public space. You walk over to where the back counter is, and a customer stands in front of it. She's pointing at the baked goods in the display case. Behind the counter, standing by the cash register, is a girl with a name tag reading, Hello, I'm Zira. You move behind the counter, and the food preparation area has all the things you'd expect, but a few things in particular catch your eye. There's a combination refrigerator and pantry, and there's also a super fancy looking espresso maker. Above it, on the wall, is a drinks menu. But enough dawdling. Arthur Codswell could be here any minute, and you do not want to disappoint him. So where would you like to go? Well, I'm still drawing Arthur Codswell up, so I'll be a minute. Oh, I'll 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 give you a running update. He's got a monocle. He's got a tiny little bit of hair on his head. That's because all the hair goes here. Thick eyebrows. Oh, a big moustache. That's a that's a nice looking giant moustache. Oh, what a fancy man Arthur Codswallop is. <laughs> there he is. Is that his mouth or a chin dent? Chin dimple. That, that that's exactly how we picture him. Well, what do you want to do, Danny? Do we want to talk to these? I cat- want to admire this Maybe guy. I'm proud of customers. him. Customers. It is a good picture. <laughs> Maybe the fact that there are customers means we should never, ever talk to them, because that would be That's too terrifying. intimidating. Uh, first, this was the only other thing I've drawn so far. Uh, this uh, Zira person, is that with a Z or an X? Z-I-R-A. Okay, well, do you want to talk to a person or do you want to just start looking around? I mean, I desperately don't want to talk to people, but people it are feels... People scary. Yeah, it feels right. <sighs> so what, do you think we should talk to a person? I, I do, but I don't want to. Let's talk to Zira. Okay. All right, go up to Zira, give her an authoritative nod. to Wait, and that I'm it... the manager now! <laughs> Zira, you'll work for me! See, I was going to go with the quiet, dignified approach that made her want to say something to us before we said anything Zira! to her. Zira, what are you doing? I take it that's not happening. Uh, Z- Zira blinks at you with her re- with red, watery eyes and says, Oh, oh I'm, I'm so glad you're here. Um, the old manager had all sorts of crazy systems. Uh, hopefully you can figure them out. I, I was always just so confused by what he did. The old manager was a fool, Zira! That's why they've hired me! I'll fix it! Oh, uh, thank God. Oh. <laughs> do you, do, are you okay with me taking over the character voice, Danny? <laughs> She's not even talking to me. She's busy drawing Zira. You know, you've got to fix these issues. This, we have puzzles to solve, not pictures to draw. I guess I'll take over. I say, Zero, what's, what systems are you having trouble with? What do we need doing? Uh, I, you know, there's like how to open up stuff, how to open the doors. He changed all the passwords. He messed everything up. I, I don't know. I, know. I can't even track everything he did. I, I'm sure you'll find stuff. All right, then let, I'll keep look looking like, around. You look like a very capable person. I'm sure you'll figure everything out. I'm a very capable person. <laughs> um, okay, well then let's... Uh... All right, there was a customer who was poking around baked goods. Let's Maybe we should check well. out the baked goods. Maybe that's Arthur Codswallop in disguise. That's true, <laughs> that's true. You can hide the monocle. So are you checking out the baked goods or talking or to the, the customer? customer? I oh, was this... saying the baked goods, but you were saying the customer. Okay, well, let's look see, at the See, we're doing goods. great together. Let's look at the baked goods first. <laughs> Is it like an intelligence gathering to see? Okay. And then if we, because if we ask the customer a question, then not, like... Then we're, we're stuck. We've got yeah. to hurry. Well, then we're we have to look at the baked limit. goods. Let's look at the baked goods. Yeah. So the case contains nine different types of desserts, but it's hard to tell exactly what they are as the index cards that describe them have all fallen face down. Oh, okay. Do we want to try and get into the baked goods case? Yeah, is it openable? Yeah, can we get, can we get into the case from behind? So there's a lever on the back and you can move it up or down, but you can't pull it open. Yeah, the old manager is able to jiggle it in some way and get it to work, but I just... Again, one of those things, I just don't know what he did exactly. 
Those are the worst kinds of managers. They just say, no, we don't need to fix it. It works when it, by my system. <laughs> now, you said we can go up and down. Is there any like setting on the lever that would be in the middle? Like, Is there like a zero kind of yeah. setting? Or, or is, is it, it like either a, up or is down? Is it like a light switch where it's definitely it's like one of two? Okay. 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 So there'll be some sequence of ups and downs. Something so if we like see that. something that's like... I went up to downtown and then I downed my way up again. You'd be like, great, that's a code. Sounds fair. Okay. Uh, so just keep a lookout for that. <laughs> um, should we ask the, the customer what they want? They'll probably just be like, can you please fix this for me? But you never know. Yeah, sure. I uh, approach the customer and I say, what is it that you want? I'm the <laughs> manager here. Oh, well, you. I guess you must be the new manager. It's so nice to yes, meet you. Yes, that's what I said. <laughs> I'm I'm Sadie Smith, and I, I've been coming to this shop for so many long. I mean, I love the people here. Zira is just always she's always so friendly. You know, I'd love to get one of your tasty apple muffins, but Zira said the case is stuck. Uh, can you get it open? So she seems nice enough, but you'll need to serve her before Arthur Codswell gets here. Mm-hmm. You don't want to keep him waiting. No. Absolutely. Okay, good. I'll I'll get you a muffin. Okay. Um. So we got to figure you. out this lever thing. Uh, apple. It's not for you. <laughs> I, really I don't care she, about you, Sadie. What did she say? An apple what muffin? Uh, an apple muffin. Just an apple muffin. Some kind of apple muffin. I think if we get there, there's not going to be multiple types of apple muffin. There might be. Okay, so let's keep looking around. Do we want to stay in this in this kind of businessy area and check out the fridge pantry? Sure. Let's check out the fridge pantry. So you go over to the fridge pantry and you open up both doors and take a look at the great ingredients inside. And that yeah. is Link H that you can take I, a look at now. Link I got to be honest, I didn't expect something to just open. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So again, people uh, listening along can see this themselves, but it's just a nice little list. So uh, I might read it out. Mm-hmm. Uh, so these, these are open. I am surprised. You are right. Uh, in the fridge, there is a whole bunch of things. They are technically written out in a five by two grid. I think that might just be so they don't take up so much space. Uh, we have maple syrup. There's a banana, there's pineapple juice, eggs, milk, yogurt, apricot, cream cheese, strawberry, and butter. Danny, would you like to tell me what's in the pantry? Sure. All right, in the pantry, on the top row, I see vanilla, cocoa, nutmeg, baking soda, and salt. And on the bottom row, I see cinnamon, coffee beans, flour, cornstarch, and honey. And one thing about this, uh, they are actually arranged in that way in the refrigerator and pantry. It is not simply... uh, so that is a, an accurate representation of mm-hmm. how they are laid out. Yes. So the banana, for example, is sitting on top of an apricot. Mm-hmm. <laughs> um, okay. Well, that's a bunch of th- ingredients. Yeah, I'm just writing them down for myself. I'm not, well. because I've got them open on the computer, and we can look at them that way. Well, then I guess you're just going to have to vamp for a while, aren't you? All right, I will vamp. <laughs> um, so, look, I'm thinking these, are obviously, that I don't think there's a puzzle contained within this. I think this will be resource for puzzle management. We'll find a recipe later, and the recipe won't be a list of things. It'll be like dots on a grid, and we'll have to realize that that's asking for that's milk fun. and strawberry. That's right. Milk and strawberry? Is that my first thought? All right. So I think that's what's going on there. Well, let's keep moving on in the same area Yep. and check out this uh, coffee-making device, yep. the espresso machine. Again, I am hoping that literally zero knowledge of how these things work is required. Well, let's find out. So it's a very fancy piece of technology, and you can pour various liquids into the top. The right side has a pouring spout, and at the very bottom is a button labeled start. Do you want to hit the start button? Probably not, right? Is there anything in there? (laughs) There's currently (laughs) nothing in it. All right, well then let's ignore it. And what about uh, the menu? Can we have a look at the giant menu board? Yeah, you take a look at the menu, and that should be... I cannot find my notes. <laughs> Is this what Link a coffee F, maker Thank like? you. Link <laughs> app. <laughs> All right. So we have a menu board. Ooh, okay. Uh, it looks very lovely. It's a drinks menu. And we have different drinks with different dollar values. The tropical coffee, which I'm assuming is a pineapple and coffee beans, uh, going into that machine together, is $6.08. Is that dollars a and eight thing cents. that people do? No. Uh, the espresso flash, which I'm assuming would be the coffee and the baking soda, uh, <laughs> is $4.09. The brown cappuccino is coffee and maple syrup, maple syrup I'm sure. 
Uh, that is $5.10. By the way, for people listening at home, all of those ingredients are not written on the menu. No, I'm making, we're making them, up them up as a joke based on the <laughs> names. Coffee volley, which I'm assuming is... Uh, cornstarch. Cornstarch, yeah. And tennis balls. Uh, is $5.07. Because cornstarch, it, makes, it bounces Good if point. you... Non Newtonianize it. Spearmint Twister is five dollars and eleven cents. So those prices are suspiciously specific. They are odd prices, right? They're not like you wouldn't price these things this way unless it was part of some wild system. I also know I don't know about the dollars. The cents are seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Oh, so the cents, yeah, five dollars and seven cents, six dollars and eight cents, four dollars and nine cents. They are. You could reorder them so the cents are counting up seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Maybe. The dollar prices are not all different. They're six, four, five, five, five. Yeah. I mean, do you it, think there's any, like, are the, do you reckon the, the prices are generated by the name? Like something about, like, brown is five letters and it's five dollars, but that isn't true for coffee or spearmint. It could be. It could be that we are trying to find the fourth, fifth, or sixth letter of the first word and then the other letter. They are all two. Well, no, there aren't 11 letters of the second, of the. Yeah. Oh, you're right. So that, that almost made sense uh, going you, like the you know dollars. That but it could still be like count the fifth and the eleventh letter of the whole thing, something like that. It Who could knows? Be. I mean, we could check if that makes any sense for yeah, a second. Yeah, just a quick, just a quick One, rush two, three, through. Four, five, C, L for tropical coffee, sixth and eighth letters. All right. Um, espresso flash would be probably not one, so two, much. R F. R F. So yeah, There's not looking promising. Chlorf- chlorf <laughs> isn't much of a word so far. So I don't think this is going to be a thing. N and... U. Yeah, and you. I don't think this is anything. Uh, but you may as well finish off. Coffee yeah. Volley is E, V, and Spearmint Twister is... R-W. R-W. Yeah, yep. that doesn't look like anything. C-L-R-F-N-U-E-V-R-W makes sense to me. Yeah, I mean, hey, maybe it's something very yeah, important. But, uh, but it, at the moment, it doesn't seem like a solvable puzzle. Uh, I, w- I wouldn't go that far, but I am mean, not more information. seeing it. If it is, I am yeah, hoping yeah, exactly. that something will click further later. All right, well, then let's keep looking around. Yep. What would you like to look at now, Danny? I don't know. You don't have the map up. I, I have the map up. It's drawn in my notes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, what else have we looked at? We haven't looked too closely at the counter itself and the cash register. Oh, that's true. Yeah, if we have a look at the counter and the cash register, is there anything interesting there for the puzzles? So the counter is pretty basic, but the cash register looks more like a touchscreen computer than a traditional register. Among all the buttons on the display is one that says, Scan Face to Open. You push the button, and the display shows Face Not Recognized. Hmm. Apparently your boss hasn't uploaded your picture into the system yet. Can we, can we scan um, Zero, Zero's face? Do you, can you do this? Oh, sure. Yeah, no problem. Um, she goes and she presses the button, and yet again, the display shows Face Not Recognized. All right, maybe we need to find a photo what, are you of crying the boss too manager. Much? Well, she blinks her eyes again. Yeah, this usually works fine for me. I, I'm just, I'm not sure what's going on. Okay, it's because she's crying too much. So we need to fix her problems. Then she'll stop crying. <laughs> um, huh. What? Cheer up, Zira. <laughs> I'm fine. I mean, I'm, I'm happy. I mean. Are you allergic to something? Uh, oh, you mean my eye? Uh, no, it's a, I had to put my contacts in today and I don't usually oh. wear them. And it's just, they're kind of irritating <sighs> me. Oh, All right. man. Yeah, why not glasses? Oh, well, I would normally put my glasses on. I just, I just not sure what happened to them. Intriguing. I had them a couple of days ago. So they're, she's lost her glasses. They're stuck inside an apple muffin. Maybe they're in the booth, or in the fireplace. Maybe she threw them in the fire in a fit of peak. Um, <laughs> fit of peak is a fun phrase. Um, should we keep looking around there? Maybe we'll yep. find some glasses, and that'll solve our face problem. Sure. I think we've seen more or less everything there is to see in this little staff I area. So. So I think that we pretend that we're storming out. We go to the door. Oh, you want to check the front door? You want to always check the door? And we it's keeping a lookout as well to see if uh, dude face is on his way. I hope he's real. I hope that outside the front door, there's just a really, really, really long street and we can see him way down the end, <laughs> slowly trundling towards us. Uh, we check the front door. So the door has the name of the shop and the hours on it. There's nothing weird about that. And there is a small golden bell hanging over the door. That's odd. You don't remember hearing it when you came in. If if Arthur Codswallop enters this coffee shop and it doesn't go ding 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 ding, he's gonna give us the lowest review I've ever seen. That's like the only reason you go to a coffee shop. Can I have a closer <laughs> look at the bell? Mm-hmm. 
You push the door open, but the bell does not make a sound. So you take a closer look at it and, huh, it's actually an electronic bell. Oh. It must be wired into the door somehow. The battery component is currently empty and it looks like it takes a AAA. All right. So we've got to find a battery and we've got to find glasses. Yep. Okay. Have we seen anything immediately that looks like, great, let's nab a battery out of that? Um, Can't think of anything immediately. No, nothing that I've seen. I assume most things are plugged in. I think so. Cool. I don't think there's a, I don't think there's AAA batteries in that fridge. <laughs> All right, Danny, what are we looking at now? Um, I, you got to show me the map. Oh my gosh, you drew you drew everything except for the one thing that you needed to reference all the time. Okay, uh, fireplace. Okay, so we're gonna go, go past the, the tables, one-off, all the one-off items, past that big booth uh, with the person in it, and look at the fireplace. Mm-hmm. The fireplace is just a normal fireplace. There's nothing interesting about it. It's very oh, nice. It though. is very story. Nice. It is the nicest looking thing in this entire place. Yes. A likely story. Okay. Well, shall we turn around and see what this customer who's sitting in a booth wants? Sure. Was it just one person? Well, I think there was one person sitting in the booth. So there is a teenager sitting at the table. and they are, <laughs> they are intently browsing the web on their laptop. They've clearly finished their drink. Why are they still here? I say... he's writing a review. I say, you child! Shh. What are you doing? Get out of my store! What are you doing? <laughs> These tables have been paying customers! No, I don't I, say that. I, I paid. I paid on having my drink. Yeah, that's actually quite fine. We don't have much of a rush. <laughs> it's perfectly reasonable. <laughs> Do you have a AAA battery? <laughs> No, uh, no, sorry. No, my, my, my laptop's uh, plugged into the outlet over there. Sorry. Man, I just love, I just love coming here for the Wi-Fi. It is just so strong, so much better than whatever I get at home. Exactly. Has Thank he unplugged you. anything? Thank you for noticing. If we go to the outlet where he's plugged his laptop in, has he unplugged the doorbell or something? No, he has not. Okay. Well, yeah, the door was a battery thing. You never know. Maybe it's uh, got a, it's also plugged in. What's your it's name, not dude? Also plugged in. Oh yeah, what's your name? What's dude? your name, friend? Hey, dude? Kid, what's your name? I'm making a list. <laughs> hey team, uh, what's your name? My name's Fred. Uh, you, don't meet, you don't meet many Freds nowadays. But now I got to draw you. Yeah, Fred the teen just doesn't feel right. <laughs> um, all right. Well, I, I've got to. I guess I'll just play the game for the next twenty minutes while Danny draws Fred the teen. <laughs> um, if I if I just sort of rudely stare past this teen at the booth he's sitting in. Is there anything interesting about the booth and the table that he's sitting at? It is a very nice booth, but other than that you do not see anything jumping out at you. I want to search the booth in case someone's dropped a battery or glasses in the cushions of the seats or whatever. Yeah. While someone is sitting in it, you don't really want to do that. Do I want to kick, do we want to kick this teen out? No! What the yeah, hell? I don't know, it just feels like a problem because it seems like a room in which we need to solve problems. I, d- I disagree that there is a problem as of yet. All right, we'll leave the team for a bit. Check out the other tables. Let's check out those three tables oh, behind I gave Fred team. such chubby cheeks. I didn't mean to. <laughs> uh, yeah, can we check out those other tables? The other tables are just simply some coffee tables because it would look weird to have a coffee shop without some tables in it. Cool. <laughs> Sounds right. What's going on down this hallway? Yeah, you've, the map has a hallway label. So you walk down the hallway and it leads to a bathroom and a door marked employees only. And on the wall between the two rooms is a notice board with a few flyers on it. Ooh, can we have a look at these flyers? Yes, that would be link A. Okay, so there's a lot of information on these flyers. There are three of them, pretty much. Although first of all, off on the far left of this cork board, it says pass start on a uh, yellow post-it note that is obviously an old post-it oh. note because it's been taped rather than reliably stuck. <laughs> so it says pass start. in big letters and then and it says start. And on the bottom right, it says code with uh, end in brackets, like pass code yeah. would start from one end and go to the other. But between the two, there's just three large posters. I am seeing something that works for me a little bit. Well, would you like to, before we talk about the puzzle, do you want to describe each poster? Sure. Uh, would you like to describe the first poster? 
Okay, so the first one, it seems to be for a black and white movie marathon. It's got nice little phrases. It's got blast from the past there. Last showing Saturday night. It's at the Cloverdale Theatre. It's featuring Citizen Kane, Some Like It Hot, and The Lost Weekend. I don't know The Lost Weekend. Now I feel silly because the other two are very famous. Mm. So this probably is too. Probably. Or it's a puzzle. The next poster is about mini golf. It's the Fun Times Mini Golf Challenge. Post a picture of your favourite golf pose on Twitter with the hashtag golf selfie. Uh, then there's a picture of a phone, a picture of a uh, f- golf flag. I don't know if that's a better name, like a, like a <laughs> hole with a flag in it. And a ball near there. And to show your support for our mini golf course, stand in front of the red and white pole, which can be found on hole 18. And there's also a four at the bottom of this. Oh, yeah, that's right. And there was the a three at, the bottom, three of at the bottom of mine. Uh, and then the final one, Danny? Done with... Frozen yogurt. Oh, sorry. I was reading across. I thought <laughs> it had been... It was like a brand name that had been deliberately obscured. Oh, no. It just says done with frozen yogurt. It does. Visit Snowdome Ice Cream Shop. First 24 people get a free cone. Bring it home today. There's lots of ice cream cones drawn on there, as well as a snow globe that says open now and has... A ch- Sorry, I'm a little far away. It has a child offering an ice cream to two ice cream wielding bears in the snow globe. I think Is that what's a going penguin. on there? Oh, a penguin. Yeah, that makes sense. And that one also has a four, which is curious. So if you just went like pass to code left to right and read three, four, four, that could be something. But you said you had something else that jumped out at you? I do. What was that? And that is that, uh, well, when I see a word that has four big letters at a start and four and a four letter word in big letters at the end, I tend to interpret that as a word ladder. Oh, like going from pass to All the way to code. And I see that the word past is in the first poster, which is one letter different. I and also see post, last. Post a Ooh, picture. Oh, you've got post as well. Now, I don't know what the 344 4 would necessarily have to do with it, unless that's like how many words there are on each one. Something like that. Maybe. Could be a very long thread, so something along those So lines. what you think might go like past? I went past, last, lost are all on the first poster. Oh, I see. So from past to blast from the past to when last showing. And then the third one on that poster is the lost weekend. Yeah. Now we're at that lost. That could get you to post. That gets us lost, lost to post, to pose, Ooh. favorite golf pose. Um, pole? To pole. Red and white pole to hole 18. So we've taken four four more steps on a word ladder. That's nice. I would never have thought to do a word ladder here. So we're now (laughs) at hole. All right, onto the last poster maybe, which has home. Which has, does does it? Down the bottom. It's got home. I'll bring it home today. Yep. Then I see dome. dome. Then I see done. Done. And then I see cone. Cone. And that gets us to code. And then that gets us to code. Okay, that was awesome. Now, what the hell do we do with it? So we have, could you read the list, Danny? <laughs> pass. So starting at pass, we got pass, last, lost, post, pose, poll, whole, home, dome, done, cone, code. All right, well, maybe that's something relevant. This feels so, I mean, obviously this is something. What do? Now just turn those into ups and downs and we'll open up the... Uh... Yeah, right? Okay. Well, that's interesting and feels solved, but... Don't know where to input that solution yet. Maybe. Or Whatever maybe it is. It's... Or maybe we're insane. <laughs> <laughs> and this is a pure coincidence, which would be a bit wild. Total coincidence. You never know. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever um, it is, it's a sort of puzzle that does make me go, damn it, why didn't I think of that ever? Maybe you did. <laughs> maybe that's why he thought of it now. Okay, so that was on the, the notice board. We've got to figure out where to put that. Do you say there was also like an employee only a bathroom and an bathroom? employees area? No, there were two separate ones. Oh, so what yes, was that? There, there was, was a bathroom, bathroom and an employees. Okay. Only yeah. door. Are those checkable? Can we go check the bathroom to see if there's uh, teens? Teens in the bathroom. There are this is a no coffee teens. shop. All of the staff are probably teens. No teens in this <laughs> coffee shop. Arthur <laughs> Cudswell of hates teens. <laughs> So there are no teens in the bathroom, but there is certainly a lot of dirt and grime everywhere. You need some powerful cleaning materials to get it taken care of. All right, we need a giant hose. Is that what you think you would clean a bathroom with, just a big hose? The, the more dirty thing is, the larger the hose? How on earth can you say that's wrong? Very easily. You need cleaning, like, supplies. 
Do you think that when a bathroom is really dirty, the cleaner goes in there and gets down on their hands and knees and just goes, spray, scrub. That's actually exactly what I think happens. I don't know, they walk in with a a fire hose and just go like, ah, it's clean now. If it's a lost cause, they will power hose it. I think they'll they'll find some explosive somewhere. Yeah, just blow it up. (laughs) And then they will do the little bits that the power hose didn't catch later. Uh, So let's go to the employer area. Okay, so you go over to the employee area, but it is locked, and there is a keypad with digits next to it. All right. How many digits on the keypad? Sorry, not um, how many digits. Like, does the, the, if we start going beep, 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 is, yeah, is there an max end out point? at some point? It maxes out at three. Oh, okay. that's not much. Well, the passcode is pass, pass, lost, lost, post, pose, hole, pole, hole. That's more than three digits. Mm. <laughs> not that those are digits. Oh, the poster did say uh, 344. Yeah, let's try 344. (laughs) That does not work. Good. Good. (laughs) (laughs) Okay, what haven't we looked at? What haven't we looked at? I think we've looked at everything. Oh, okay. So now we just need to figure out what we're doing with these words. Now we need to solve puzzles. Okay. We've got this pass to code thing. Yep. But I don't know what to do. I don't know how that trans... Like, I just can't see how that translates to much. Other than maybe... No, not yet. Oh, no, no. Unless we keep list of what letters we've changed. Oh, that makes sense. That could be a thing. I'll take a look. Wait, what we change or we change to? Maybe just start with the S on pass. Two S to there. T, P to L, okay. A to O. See, one of these is looking more like words than the other to me. Yeah, but it does look like the word spell. Yeah, at the moment it's spelling spelt. I don't know what that is. You never know. Maybe you should try this as well. This is surprisingly hard to keep track of while trying to talk at the same time. Okay, and H became a D, an M became an N. Well, neither side of that looks like anything, right? What does the left side look like? Uh, spelt plumden. Yep, that's nothing. And plop elm. So that doesn't spell any word out or anything. Not either. If, if you list either what the new letters were or what the old letters were, and even if you list both, again, it's assuming plop- I haven't made mistakes because I don't know why, but I'm I found ass- that really hard. I'm going to assume write. you haven't made mistakes, and if you have, I'll blame you later. Um. So that doesn't seem like the way to interpret it. So we're still looking around. What are we what are we trying to do right now? We're looking for the lever code and we're maybe looking for a battery and possibly some glasses. And maybe some glasses so we can get into the thing. Uh, we didn't find anything like if we uh they go into the bathroom, just examine in the insides of the toilets. Oh yeah, can we like search? No the one's bathroom? dropped glasses no, in there, right? Too, is it too dirty to search, or can we actually look for like glasses? <laughs> you do not want to be searching in there until you gotcha. get it cleaned up. Sure. So you right. need three. You need three digits for the for the for the door. Yes. Yep. And what is there? Have you found anything? There's three of in this room. Well, those three posters. There's three okay. tables as well. Can we look under the tables? Oh, hold on. There's nothing under the tables. Do the individual posters, if we follow that path, spell any letters or anything? I mean, the last. Like, there's three steps in on that first poster, and we go. So we have past, last, and lost, uh, which were changes of T, L, and O, which doesn't really spell anything, because we added a T, or we changed to a T, we changed to an L, we changed to an O. Um, or if we go by the letters that were changed, it spells out the word spa. But I don't think that's anything relevant either. If we do both, you get to plow, which is nothing. <laughs> so I don't think there's like n- numbers spelled out with letters in the three posters that of changes that I can see. No, I don't think that's anything. No, there must be something. I mean, mm-hmm. this is just the three, four, four. Well, I think you saw that there are three, or three of each, three words on the first poster and four words on the second and four yes. words on the third. I think you noticed that. Yeah, so already. that's three, four, four. Is there anything else you could do with that ladder besides list them out? I have no idea. What else do no, you do with the ladder think... other than list the steps of the ladder or the changes you've made for each step? I don't know. Let's find out. Hmm. Hmm. Past the last... Where boss? did you find these words? <laughs> Ooh, that's interesting. Oh, so we could maybe make a seven from past to last to lost if we oh. graph them visually on that... Oh, if we that's draw a curious. line from each of them. So from past to last to lost would make a seven. Facial puzzles... Then okay, where's post? One, what, what was the next one? Post. Post. Pose. To pose. Pole. Pole to hole. That That's like, like a, a two. two or a Z. Or a Z. It'd be yep. wild if it was a Z. Then home starts at the bottom. Dome all the way across. Done. 
that way and cone. It's kind of a nine. Oh, could be. So maybe can we try seven? What was the next two? one? Two. Seven, two, nine. Yep. You try that and you hear a click. The door oh. opens. Crafty. Okay. So we're now into the into the uh, employee only area. Employee mm-hmm. only area. Um, what's what's going on in here? So there, it's a fairly full storeroom, and among the supplies, you see some cleaning materials. Nice. A bin marked lost and found. Nice. A filing cabinet. Probably good. An old CD player. Maybe okay. And a laptop. Hmm. So we can get on the Wi-Fi. And on top of that filing cabinet is a fancy looking router. Oh, so if oh, we no. want to get that teen out of here, is that our goal is to rid the place of teens? They maybe, are taking up space. Maybe Arthur really does hate teens. Maybe Arthur really hates teens. <laughs> or maybe he really loves booths. Maybe he loves booths. Ooh. He wants the booth in front of the fire, but it's a nice fireplace. You want him to have that mm, perfect sitting. That makes sense. So cleaning materials lost and found, filing cabinet, laptop. CD. It did oh, CD. CD yes. I knew there was something I missed. Maybe we can uh, find it. we can play bell sounds through the CD, <laughs> or maybe a CD player is it battery operated? Does the CD player have a AAA battery in it? It does not. Okay, okay. cool. Uh, so first of all, if we unplug that router, okay, the, the teen will leave. That's pretty upsetting. Let's 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 get the teen out of here. He's gonna make this face at you. Oh, this he's face so that I drew. Sad. You drew the saddest <laughs> face I've ever seen. Okay, uh, can we just unplug the router? You go to um, unplug the router, but there's no obvious power off switch, and the cord um, to the outlet stretches behind some very heavy boxes. Hmm, and we don't want to destroy it, because we want it back by the time... uh... (laughs) Okay, can we open up the laptop? Uh Uh-huh. You try, you turn on the laptop, and it boots up, and it asks for a password. All right, can we put in... Post pass lost last home don't um, <laughs> sure okay so we need a need a password for the laptop is there a hint option yeah you, you, are you pressing on that I think so I'm assuming it's a required in game hint and not like a fake call the game master hint so yes I'm gonna hit the hint option <laughs> a hint says the password is eleven letters Ooh. Uh, I type in eleven letters the that I just one one l e t t e r s it does not like that. Ah, you never know what kind of tricks people are going to pull. Okay. Should we just keep looking at stuff, or should we get straight into the cleaning? Well, first or of all... Or should we do the lost and found? Lost and found, Hope right? that we can get zero to do it. Yeah, we want some glasses. So can we look in the lost and found for some glasses? Or whatever's in there. Feel free to tell us what's in there, if there's other stuff. Okay, so first of all, in the lost and found, there's just a whole bunch of miscellaneous junk that customers have left behind. And you go searching a little bit for some glasses, and you do find some. Wait. Nice. All right, so that should get us access to the cash register. But we could also clean the bathroom. Do you want to clean the bathroom? I, I don't particularly want to clean the bathroom. I'd rather get her to do it if we can. Okay, well, let's get her to clean the bathroom <laughs> in exchange for her glasses. <laughs> it's, it's good managerial skill. Okay. So you're giving uh, her the glasses first? or Let's give her the glasses. Them? Oh, thank you. Oh, I... I, I knew I must have left them here. Thank you so much. Now stare at the register. <laughs> Put your face to the register, Zira. <laughs> um, okay. <laughs> she does that, and you hear a click, and the till pops open. Nice. Inside, among the bills and coins, you do find a triple A battery. Hey. Nice. Okay, um, Zira, could you yes? please... Uh, clean the bathroom. Oh, uh, sure. No problem. There are cleaning supplies in the storeroom. Could you clean the bathroom for us? Uh, and if you see any clues in there and puzzles, just don't touch them. Just clean it up so that it reveals the puzzles and the clues, but don't try and solve them yourself. I don't, I don't pay you to solve puzzles, Zira. I'm okay, a terrible manager. Okay, so if I find anything shop. in there, I'm not, I'm not telling you? Is no, no that just it? clean it and leave it where it is in situ, and I'll come back and I'll be like, wow, look at all the new puzzles that have been uncovered by the cleaning. Oh, okay, sure, sure, you're the okay. boss. If you, you see any puzzles, off. if you see, like, gross stuff, get rid of it. That's part <laughs> of the cleaning. The dirt is not a puzzle, Zira. Got it. Okay, do you want to fix the bell? <laughs> <laughs> dirt can be a puzzle sometimes. Don't clean, if the dirt looks like a puzzle, don't clean it off. 
<laughs> if you start okay. to clean and it's like you're uncovering letters or numbers or something, just call me. Uh, okay, got it. I think. Okay, <laughs> I believe in you. All right, let's let's. She's now this. wearing her. She's now wearing her contacts and glasses at the same time. And she's just stumbling down the hallway. <laughs> Is that how unable it works? to see? Yeah. <laughs> Really? If I put she, contacts she on take, my glasses... She didn't take her contacts out before she put her glasses Ew, on. Ew, in front of me? Ah. <laughs> well, you didn't notice, did you? Oh. Yeah. <laughs> she does it real quick. Oh. She just sort of shoots her head forward and they pop out. Not a fan of that one. Contacts freak me out. Um, this is my privilege as a perfectly visioned person. Let's put the AAA batteries. Let's do it. In the bell. You put the battery in and close the compartment. And now you push open the door and the bell plays a series of tones. And now you can click on link C. Oh, no. Oh, link C. I'm excited. Oh, no. Uh, it's, it's an sound. MP3. We're going to listen to this MP3 as soon as it loads. Are we ready? Yeah. Here we go. Oh, I know what that is. I know what that is. Do you know what that is, Those Danny? Those sounded like some higher notes and some lower notes. That went, and I shall sing along. Up, down, up, down, down, up, down, down. Beautiful. All right, let's do what I just said into the thing. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Puzzles, we, we make a show. Can we, we go, go to that baked goods that cabinet, baked goods. grab the weird lever, yep. and uh, jiggle it. Up, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, down. Yeah, we do that. You do that, and the case opens. Yeah, it does. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> so Zero, Zero comes back from the bathroom and said, I, I found something in there, but I, I left it. Thank you. Because I thought you'd want me to leave it. You yeah, did the right thing. Oh, you we got the case open. That's so great. Yeah, we I'll, did. I'll give, I'll give Miss Smith her, her muffin now. Okay, and can you, can you flip all the signs up so people can read them? Sure. Cool, thank she you. She does well, that. Please, did, you wash, wait, did you wash your hands? You've just of cleaned course, the I wash my hands. Okay. <laughs> so Please. Zira sets the index cards back up, and now you can take a look at link B. Yeah, do they seem like they're right? Because I also don't know that much about baked goods. Okay, so we have a three by three grid of baked goods. Okay. Yeah. Um, Glad that's how I drew them. Let's swap off one after the other. Okay. I will tell you the first one is a custard pie with extra whipped cream. Ooh, next one across is a lava cake with the promise that you'll get it microwave. <laughs> we don't have a microwave. I don't know how we promise that. <laughs> uh, an apple muffin made with flax seeds. Nice. Then banana bread with pecans mixed in to start the next row down. Nice. Then a croissant or a croissant, uh, buttery French pastry. That is what a croissant is. If you're speaking normally, would you just say croissant? Would yes. you ever be like, oh, it's a croissant? No. Good. Uh, <laughs> what's the next one? Egg-free blondie with vanilla icing. Solid. Then there's a uh, German sugar cake. Yep. It's not sugar. Yeah, it is. It's not. That's not the German word for sugar. What's, what is the Sacher in Sacher Torte? Uh, I have no idea. Sugar? It's not sugar. But aren't Sacher Torte uh, chocolate anyway? Yeah, maybe. But what's chocolate except sugar? <laughs> Just painted brown. <laughs> um, next one? Is a cinnamon crunch bagel. And then the last one, uh, mini cheesecake bites, six per pack. Damn, that sounds good. I've never had that. What is a cheesecake bite? I want it. I think it's just a tiny cheesecake. Zache uh, tort translation. A Zache tort in German means Zache tort in English. That's how they get you. <laughs> yeah, no, chocolate cake covered with apricot jam and chocolate I don't want to know what it is. I want to know what it translates <laughs> what to. What does Zache mean in English? Nope, but just go straight to it. Here's what, here's what it means. Here's what the cake is. No, I don't want to know the cake. I want to know the word. <laughs> All right. It was created by Franz Zacher. There it's nothing. we go. That's better. And what is his <laughs> I name? I told you it was and nothing. And what does his name mean? What's the origin of the Zacher name? Oh, my God. <laughs> what does that mean? <laughs> Maybe it means cake maker. Wouldn't that be fun? You don't actually have to look up the meaning of his yes, name. Yes, I do. You're never going to find it. You did this. Sack maker. So he's a sack maker cake man. Good on him. Okay. So the sack maker cake, the cinnamon crunch bagel, and the mini cheesecake bites. Alternatively, a vernacular form of the personal name Zacharias. Ah, so his name is Zach the sack maker. Zach sack man. Cake. Zach sack maker cake. Zach the sack cake. All right, good. Well, those are nine different things. Love it. Do you yep. see a? Do you like? Obviously, 
the customer gets her apple muffin, and then if she's below the age of 20, she leaves the store. <laughs> um, Wait, we haven't turned off the Wi-Fi yet. No, that's true, but she, she's not going to stay. If, like, if I'm saying, once she's got her muffin, we'll let her stay if okay, she's, a, if she's not Okay, let's go through team. these alphabetically. Um, Clab Keskum. Okay, it's not Clab Not quite. Yeah, I don't see a puzzle here, but the, the wording is odd, right? Like, like extra whipped cream and, like, with pecans mixed in instead of, like, just a deliberate. banana pecan bread or pecan, you know, like, there's some, some wording of it that is maybe slightly odd, maybe not, maybe that's just what things are called. <laughs> like, it's not an f- apple flaxseed muffin. It's an apple muffin made with flax seeds. So I wonder if there's some... That it feels like there could be something puzzly here. Yeah. But again, that maybe to the reference other The fact that a lot stuff. of them have extra info, but not all of them do. It but feels what like we there's do something know going on. is there's a clue in the bathroom. So maybe we leave this, this and we true. head to the clean bathroom. Yeah, let's do that. And we look at these clues. Okay, you head over to the bathroom, and wow, Zira did really get this cleaned up. And as you asked her to, she did leave the clue right behind where she found it, which was behind the toilet. And it Good. is a newspaper clipping. And wow. now you can take a look at link E. So this wow. is... This I'm is, glad I didn't power hose the place. <laughs> this is going to be like, Arthur Codswallop hates teens. Oh, that would be great. If I see a teen when I enter a store, I immediately shut it now, down. Do you, now, again, do you think that it's about the teens or do you think it's about the lack of booth? I think it's the booth. Once there was a teen who stole a booth from me and All I right, murdered him. Finish. Codswallop Times, breaking news. Coffee shop may shut down after horrid review. On Sunday, February 13th, a reviewer here at Codswallop Times gave Coffee Galore a horrible review. Only a few days after the review, the number of customers coming to the shop quickly declined, and the question now on people's minds isn't whether or not Coffee Galore will go out of business, but when. Keep it. I'll be the interviewer. Oh, okay. According to Arthur Codswallop, there wasn't anything done correctly in the cafe. To learn more on the matter, we've interviewed him on the subject. Hello, thank you for joining me today. All anyone seems to be talking about lately is the review you gave to Coffee Galore. Would you mind telling us exactly what happened in the cafe which caused you to write that review? Well, in my opinion, they shouldn't be running a shop. I haven't seen anything quite that bad for years. The customers were all yelling, so I couldn't hear the song that was playing. It was a Bob Marley one, one of my absolute favourites. Which one? (laughs) No woman, no cry? Interesting, but that is a Bob Marley song. Yes. Good work. Move on. <laughs> I asked them for a booth by their lovely fireplace, but they weren't able to seat me there. Was there a teen in the booth? <laughs> Always. I hate teens. Me too. Good. Glad we agree. <laughs> Should a shop like that be a round up a codswallop? I think not. I ordered my usual swirling sunset surprise, and they couldn't even make that. If you ask me, a shop shouldn't be open if they can't handle simple orders. <laughs> they can't handle. handle. <laughs> they can't handle simple <laughs> orders. <laughs> ah, I'm very sorry to hear about that. Thank you so much for this interview. Now, I apologize. I read everything at the start. I didn't read the byline. It says, by Ted Jerring. Oh. I, 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 you got to give him credit. I don't know. He didn't really write an article. This seems very, like... <laughs> Nepotistic and odd to yeah, be no, like. Oh, so I interviewed Cod, like as an interviewer for the Codswallop Times. I interviewed Arthur Codswallop, well, and we're here living in Codswallop. Well, yeah, do we live I, in Upper Codswallop? I, I am just starting to understand the lore of this town a little yeah, bit more. Is, am I a Codswallop? This is terrifying. <laughs> Is zero zero Codswallop? Are we going to oh have a God. fucking kicking this teen out? Because he's like, I'm teen Codswallop. Is it going to turn out that we're Codswallop the whole time? We've been Arthur. Well, yeah, did you hear my We've voice? We've been tricking them. Um, okay. So we got to play um, a good Bob Marley song on that CD player. Sure. We have to kick that teen out. <laughs> and we need to be able to make a swirling sunset surprise. Indeed. That's okay. We can figure that out. Can we? We haven't touched the coffee maker yet, but we'll get there, I'm sure. We'll get there, I'm sure. That's not important. Uh, Is there anything else in this newly cleaned bathroom that is of note? No, there's nothing else in that bathroom that Zira left for you. Okay. Should we look at the CD player? Yeah, let's look at that CD player. So with all the other sophisticated electronics, you're surprised this place has an outdated piece of equipment like this. The machine appears to be connected to the shop speaker system. And it has the usual controls, play, rewind, change track, and loop. And there's no CD in it at the moment. Okay. Fair enough. Okay. So we have a goal. We have a series of goals now, which we sort of had. The CD does not have a CD in it. So we need to find a Bob Marley CD. 
Mm -hmm. So we can play Three Little Birds. Sure. That one. So we need to kick this teen out as well. Yeah, we still need to do this router The business. router, we can't turn, we can't unplug it. Mm -hmm. And we can't destroy it because no. I think that'll also get us a bad review. Yeah. Did you look at it at all? We had a, we didn't really, we just said we'd try to unplug it. Is there anything else interesting about the router? Yeah, it is, has a touchscreen control. What? And you tap it, and it has the controls to see the Wi-Fi strength and the IP addresses of who's been using the internet. And there is one address that appears many more times in the list than anyone else. You tap it, and a message appears. Lock this address. Enter <gasps> pattern to verify. Ooh. And a 3x3 three three grid of blank squares is below it. Underneath that is the phrase, hint, losers squares. Interesting. Well, three by three grid. What does that look like to you? Oh, the the um Baked the bakery. goods are a three by three grid. So who? Which bakery good is it for losers? Did it say loser apostrophe s? Yes. So, some of these are the losers squares. What kind of a lo Ah, uh, who's the biggest? <laughs> maybe we need to invite the biggest loser we know and have them come in and then try and see what they like and then just be like, all right, those are the losers squares. Intriguing. What makes something a loser's square? I don't what like is a what makes a croissant different from an egg-free blondie <laughs> with vanilla icing? I don't know. I'm gonna look through these. I'm gonna look through them carefully. What makes a custard pie with extra whipped cream? Now that's something that you'd throw at a clown, but a sucker tort. That's 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 just a delicious little cake. So one's clearly for losers. Because they have a pie thrown in their face. Now they're clear for winners. Now, custard pie with extra whipped cream has hip hidden inside it, which is pretty cool. So that can't oh, be a loser. I see. <laughs> Whereas lava cake with will microwave it has crow hidden in it, and crows <laughs> just are the d are big losers. They just wish they were ravens and they're not. Flax seeds are very lax. Uh, no, I don't know. What here constitutes... Do we? Do you think that this is solvable? Look, now that we know that some of these squares would be loser squares, do you think it's solvable by, as it is, or do you think we want to find some other piece of information about like? I reckon maybe in the filing cabinet he's got like these are the meals that losers order. I hate anyone who orders flax seeds or something like. That. Maybe there's more information about what the manager considers a loser food. <laughs> I reckon it's gonna be something that put, I reckon we can solve this right now, but we're not in the right headspace for it. So maybe we should look at other stuff. Just to be sure that we've done everything yeah, else. Yeah, that's fair. Well, we haven't looked at the actual filing cabinet no, that the we router haven't. sits upon. Yeah, that seems to be the big one. Can we have a look at this filing cabinet? Yep. Um, it is locked, and it looks like you need a key to open it. Okay. Okay. What did we get on the cash register? We just got the battery, right? Was we there anything the else that we should... Yeah. Was there anything other than the battery in that cash register? Just some, usually some coins, and just nothing Keys. of interest. You could rob the store, I guess, you if could. you really wanted yeah. to, but... Uh... <laughs> That's the manager seems interesting. Kind of a faux pas. Okay, so if the filing cabinet is locked and we need a key, I don't know where we would get said key. So maybe we do just need to solve the bakery puzzle? I didn't think it would happen that quickly. Because what else do we have to look at that we haven't looked at? The tables are nothing, the booth has a teen in it, the fireplace the fireplace looked lovely. We didn't have much more of a look no. at the fireplace. I don't think we need to. I think it's just there to indicate like that's where he wants to sit. Yeah. So I'm assuming if we search if we search the fireplace, there's nothing else. There's no like keys hidden in the ashes. There are no keys hidden in the ashes. Understood. Yeah, okay. It's probably gonna be under the table, under the booth table or something. Perhaps once we vacate the team. Okay. So what did the router say exactly about losers? What did it say? Losers squares. So three by three could be the numbers one to nine in some form, like a like a keypad. But I don't know if that makes sense. Maybe. What else could a three by three grid be? In particular, going with the word loser. Oh, you know what it could be? A three by three grid could be a, a, a noughts and crosses board. Oh, that's interesting. And I do see that extra whipped oh, cream has an X in it. There are X's Banana all bread around. Banana bread has an X in it. Oh my god. Uh, six per pack has an X. So let's let's reform what they've done on their on their tic tac toe noughts and crosses board. I'm just trying to make sure it's as un understandable. <laughs> 
Custard pie with extra whipped cream has an X. It does not have any zeros, O's in it. Lava cake will Mike row wave it has an O in it. Apple muffin made with None flax of the ones seeds. with X's, even though they're really long. None of them have O's in them. Banana bread with pecans mixed in has an X. Croissant, buttery French pastry, has an O. Egg-free blondie has an O in blondie with vanilla icing. Sucker tort has an O for sucker tort. There's an O in cinnamon crunch bagel, which means the O's have one with oh, a yeah. vertical uh, line. And then the six per pack is an X, which makes the X's the losers mm -hmm. and the losers squares are in the top left, top right, middle left, bottom right. Yeah. You press those four squares in the filing cabinet, no, in the router password to kick out teens. The teen <laughs> kicking out password. You do that and you see the phrase address temporarily blocked. From the main area, you hear a startled cry followed, ah. by, <laughs> followed by some muted grumbling. <laughs> <laughs> the sound of someone moving. I mean, get out there and Zira has quit. <laughs> um, okay, so now we can check out the teen booth. Okay, yeah, let's check that thing out. You know, it's still warm. Uh. We'll get Zira to clean the teen booth. <laughs> um... So at least they're gone, but it would have been nice for them to clean up their trash. So you take away their tray, and as you do so, you notice a glint of silver stuck in the cushions. You reach down and find a small key. Nice. They'll be the teen's house key. Then we can track them down, break into their house, and uh, and get a Bob Marley CD from them. <laughs> did, did we give Sadie her muffin? Uh, no, uh, Zira gave Sadie her okay, muffin. Okay, good. She's left already. <laughs> Unless she's over the age of 20, in which right, case she's right. hanging out, being yep. cool. Okay, um, so uh, does that key go into the filing cabinet? It does. I mean, imagine if it didn't. Um, <laughs> all right. Let's open that up and see what's inside. Yep, you open up the drawers, and inside is a case with 11 CDs, and each Ooh. one has a label on it, and those labels on each CD can be found in link G. Excellent. Okay. Link G We've CD been labels for eleven to show up. All right. Oh, this is fun. Okay. Puzzles. Oh, it's so puzzles. They are. There's a list of these, and they are not just like Bob Marley. They are written in different ways. So the first one is the Raven author, yep. and then in brackets three, which cool. means it must be Poe, right? I, that would that, be my guess. Right. So that seems reasonable. It's three letters. It's the Raven author. It's Poe. Smears to make unreadable. Five. Uh, that's not that's too many that's too few letters for smudge. It would also presumably end in an S. Oh, then maybe blurs. Oh, interesting. That's not bad. Maybe it's a CD of uh, the album of, of the band Boy. Could be. Feature uh, a bottle or a baseball player. Feature cool. a bottle or a baseball player. A cap. Yep. That's three letters. Corner piece, four letters. Means nothing to me. We'll come back um, to it. Yeah, sure. That's Frisbees, etc. Frisbees, etc. Five, maybe discs. Uh, salads, lunch partner, perhaps with four. Don't know what goes with a salad. Miller of basketball, <laughs> or Jackson of baseball, or Bird of Big Brother. Oh, Six no. letters. Okay. Do we know any of those? No, not at all. Um, <laughs> Olympians prize medal. Five letters, metal, okay. Get closer to midnight as an hour. Five letters. I don't understand that, how Ooh. to parse that. Curious. Get closer to midnight as an hour. So what does an hour do as it gets closer to midnight? Item dropped in a face-off. Four letters. Face. <laughs> um, and pigs, five. Swine. Makes sense. So some of those words are just words, right? Like Poe blurs, cap. You've written these down, some of the ones we've got. Do they look like anything to you? Possibly, but with five blanks, I don't know if we've got quite enough there. Now, I've been treating these basically like actual like crossword clues, not cryptic yep, yep. crossword clues. No. What do we not have? Corner piece? Yeah. It's a special word for a corner piece. I don't know. I think maybe in a particular game? Rook. Oh. Yeah, if we're thinking a particular game, chess corner pieces are all rooks. 
I went, a wedge? <laughs> <laughs> even though it's a circular board, I went with Trivial Pursuit. Fair. Uh, and even then, I had to remember that they were called rooks and not castles. Mm-hmm. Um, okay, salad's lunch partner. What do you eat with a you salad? You make it a blank and salad? Meat. I actually do not know. <laughs> Comes in a bowl. <laughs> you just order a salad. Huh. Like you Usually you need a spoon to eat it. <laughs> Soup and salad? Is that that's, a thing? Okay, I guess that's a thing. Is that a... an American thing. Ooh. I don't know. That's Soup and salad. Okay. That, no, that's that's a wild combination Those to are us. just two things that you could order if you wanted to. That's really I've, funny. I've, I've never I guess heard. it is very American. Because... Maybe, maybe, or maybe we just maybe you ask another Australian, and be like, "What are you talking about? Soup and salad?" But honestly, <laughs> soup for lunch just feels like a rarity. Soup and salad is, are the two things you order before you have your dinner. <laughs> um, but okay, cool. Okay, so soup, Miller of basketball, Jackson of baseball, Bird of Big Brother. Well, I don't know Big Brother. I actually tried to make this clue Australian, and I added that last part. Oh, boy. We've had someone called Bird on Big Brother. Six letters. <laughs> How recently are we talking? Not, I don't think it was that recent. Maybe it, St- is Stephen a name? That's a six-letter name. Who, if you no. start with V. What are you, where are you pulling Stephen from? There are I lots of six-letter names. Yeah, I don't know who okay. Bird or I'm not Jackson sure how to hit this one. You might need to Google it. <laughs> No, I, I, wonder... tell you. <laughs> I mean, yeah, look, at this point, not knowing who our big brother Bird was, because we don't watch Big this Brother. Is, this is a triple pronged clue or that just any apparently is three players. things we don't know. That stings. Um, <laughs> oh. It would just be made up. Maybe let's not, let's, let's not look it up. Let's just, just see what maybe we, if we get everything else, we can fill that gap. That's with, true. With just a name. Yeah, good point. Olympians Prize is a medal. Get closer to midnight as an hour. Pass. No? It's, it's five, five letters. letters. It's getting kind of... Getting later. Mm-hmm. The hour yeah, that's is... close. You got a verb yeah. at. Turn that into yeah. a verb. The hour grows late. Damn it. <laughs> yeah, this is, a, this is more, more an obscure one. No, that's fair. You just got to turn that word into a verb. Yep. The word late? No, to mm-hmm. get later. To yeah. late? It lates. The hour lates. Well, is laten a word? Mm-hmm. Yes, it is. Ooh. Very good. Oh, wild. Item dropped, dropped in, in a face-off. Face off. Okay, two people are having a face-off. Is this literal or is it metaphorical? This is hockey. Hockey? Oh, no. Oh, that may be a puck then. What else would you drop in hockey? <laughs> All your gear. I don't know anything else you could drop. <laughs> you take off your helmet, you take off, you throw down your stick, and you punch someone. No, it must be. That's a, how I understand I'm hockey. I'm assuming it must be a puck in that case. <laughs> okay. That's fine. So what, and we're missing only one. Danny, read out quickly. All well, the assuming we've that we're right about what we got. Okay, so Poe, we are quite confident in that. Yeah. Blurs feels okay. Yeah. Cap, quite confident. Rook, cool. Discs for frisbees, are we okay with that? Uh, what else could it be? Uh, soup, okay. We don't know these people's names. Metal, quite confident in that. Leighton, Puck, and Swine. Yeah, I think they're all correct. They feel all right. That was Cap Brook. Okay. There's also Bush of Football, but I don't think that's going to help you either. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, which football are we talking? Yeah, which football? What are uh, American mean? football. It doesn't Any matter. Football? It's not going to help. Um... There's someone called Reggie Jackson. Is that the baseballer? Mm-hmm. Very good. There you go. All right. Okay. The <laughs> How do you spell Reggie? Oh, Reggie Miller. I know Reggie Miller. I don't. <laughs> a- a- no, A. A. How do you spell Reggie? All I'm writing is reggae. G G I E. Is it I E? Well, it's six letters. Yeah, I just don't know what those letters are. Is it I E? Yeah, I think so. What okay. else could it be the end? E E. <laughs> it could be spelled reggae. I don't know. It's Reggie. I've never met anyone called Reggie. What about Reggie Miller? I've never met Reggie Miller. Okay. All right. We've got words. Look at them. I'm sorry I wrote them so poorly. Do they mean anything to you? Remembering that we're trying to get... Uh, we are looking for an 11-letter password. Remember, these so, are all labels on CDs. Yeah, I'm assuming one of them will reveal itself to be a Bob Marley song. Oh. And you do know who Bob Marley is, right? <laughs> this is true. Yes, that's a re- he's a Reggie singer. <laughs> <laughs> all right, are any of these just straight up a Bob Marley CD? 
by the looks of them. Oh, not one that I know by name. Not that I know many Bob Marley CDs. Oh, I just meant maybe there was a picture on the cover. No. Oh, no, there's not. All, all that's on the, the labels are on, on the CDs are these, these phrases. Okay. And there's one on each CD. Each individual one, like, by itself, if I saw a CD labeled blurs, it wouldn't mean much to me. So I feel like we should be using them in tandem with the others. Because otherwise we don't need to have solved one and been able to use that to just be like, oh yeah, good, I've solved one. And it's... So Danny is now writing them out a bit more spaced out. But even then, like, you look at the first letters, they don't seem to... There's not like it's an acrostic no, or something. No, like definitely not. Final letters? No, not is so not, much. Is also not going to spell out a message. Um... I mean, reggae, it could just be Reggie that is a misspelling of reggae. Unless that's how it's spelled. Oh, you know, look, 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 oh, look. Oh, they all sound like... They're kind of, they're one letter away. Rock, a rook is one letter away from rock. Oh. Reggie is one letter away from reggae. Metal is one letter away from metal. Yep, okay, what's pop? blurs? Oh, is pop. Blurs <laughs> could be... Blurf. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so yeah, rap. Cap is rap. Rock. Rook is rock. Disco. Discs is disco. So soup. Someone just has crappy writing. It's soup. Um, soul. Soul. Reggie reggae. is reggae. Lovely. Metal is me- we're just, we, Thank we God know I know couldn't we spell need, Reggie. Just, <laughs> metal is metal. What about Latin? Latin. Oh, Latin. Puck. Punk. Punk. Swine. That's already a genre. Yes. What is that? Sw- swipe. Swipe music. Some people just swipe music. Okay, so we don't know what blurs or swine are. Oh, we come don't need on. these to solve the puzzle, but I want to know. No, yeah, absolutely. Why have you put both of a weakness of my weaknesses into one puzzle? <laughs> music and sport. Um swine. Sounds like or looks like it could be shine. Okay. Shine music. Probably not the first letter, right? Because what would that be? Twine, twine music? Twine music. Swing, swing. Swing music. All right, blurs. What's blurs, Danny? Blubs. Blubs. Blubs music. <sighs> could could you change the beat? So it's just a CD full of slurs. It's just, oh, no. it's just 40 <laughs> minutes of a person saying various slurs. I can't believe you put that in this room. That's just inappropriate. <laughs> uh... What is blurs? What's another genre of music? Does blurs <laughs> rearrange into country? I don't think so. <laughs> what are Boy you? Hands? Yeah, yes. please. Fourth letter. Okay. <laughs> okay, it's not blubs, though. Blubs? No, it is not. It's blubs? <laughs> Probably blues! Not. Oh, blues. With a, I Turn ad- into a I, vowel. I only made it as far as D. <laughs> All right, so we've got to put on the Reggie CD. You do so, and you set it to loop, and from the main area of the store, you hear a Bob Marley song playing, and it is and which quite one is catchy. It? Um, I don't know. Which one did you say earlier? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the, one that, the one that you mentioned. <laughs> yeah. you, got it, you got it right. Um, all right. That's how I react to music questions. So we got the reggae. <laughs> we've gotten rid of the teens. All we need now is to know how to make that drink. The oh right, we got to learn how to make the coffee. Yeah, what was it? Well, again? we still haven't opened the laptop. Oh yeah, good point. Yeah, we need to be able to make a swirling sunset surprise. Again though. What did you need to open the laptop? Eleven. An eleven uh, was it, well, eleven something. Oh, what but... are the what are the ones that we changed? P. Oh my e- god. R. C. Percolate. Sing maybe. It ends with a G. Hold on. Uh, yep. Oh. Man, we could have figured out what we were missing. That says percolating. Percolating. Who put percolating in as a password on the laptop? You do that, and the screen clears to show a recipe search screen. And the search key appears to be by price? What kind of a system is that? You can put in okay. a price of any drink, and it well, will tell you what drinks are of that price. Nice. Well, now we've got to solve that price puzzle so we can figure out what <laughs> a swirling sunset surprise would be priced yep. at. Yeah. okay, okay. Blah, Where is puzzles, it? Menu board puzzle. Okay, so tropical coffee goes to $6.08, whereas mm-hmm. espresso flash goes to $4.09. Mm-hmm. Brown cappuccino, $5.10. Coffee volley, $5.07. 
Spearmint Twister, $5.11. 14, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. I'm liking this. What are you doing? Counting the letters. They're all 11 letters long? No. So 13? Oh, okay. So what What are you count? Why are you counting? Because the total number of letters seems to match if you add up their numbers so far. So six and eight is in the 14. $6 and eight cents is 14. And, and tropical, tropical coffee, coffee is 14, 14 letters. letters. Okay. Espresso so I was flash. wondering, is it going to be like a consonants vowels thing or something? So we are adding up the right number. Well, espresso flash is uh, one, two, three, four, four vowels. vowels and... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine consonants. I like so it. I guess the cents is the consonants, the dollars is the vowels, and together that would create the total length of the, five, of the thing. Two, three, Does that four, five, six, four seven. Them? It seems good. I found it works for another one. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, Looks is, okay. good. I like it. So we would like to search for something. Hold on. What are we going for? That is, okay. One, okay, two, gonna... three, four, five, six, seven dollars. Seven dollars. Dollars. And one, two, three, four, four five, six, six, seven, eight, eight nine, nine, ten, ten 11, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, 14, 14 15, fifteen cents. Seven dollars fifteen? Yeah, can we search seven dollars fifteen cents? You do, and the screen shows a recipe for how to make a swirling sunset yes. surprise. Oh Zero. nice. <laughs> Zero comes oh, over to you. Okay, so you guys get the ingredients together and I'll uh, set up the machine. Got it? Great. Please. Got it. <laughs> You take a look at the list, and the instructions are a bit more complicated than you expected. Or at this point, maybe they're not. Yeah, it's exactly as you... complicated as I expected. <laughs> and now you can take a look at link D. Ingredients in a swirling sunset surprise. Oh, boy. Item. Oh, boy. Okay, okay so it's a list this of items. A, this is a lot. So the first one, the first ingredient is an item which, when its letters are alphabetized, is a string of consecutive letters with one missing. I love it. The next one, Danny, do you want to read the we'll swap off? Item, which is next to two ingredients whose names begin with trees. The item which, when its last letter is removed, does not change pronunciation. <laughs> then item which, if you remove the last two letters and move the fifth to the beginning, you get the name of an island. Then an item which can be anagrammed to its position what? on its shelf. An item that contains consecutive pairs of double letters. Sure, and then an item that en- begins and ends with a US postal abbreviation. Nah, that's okay. We've had to send We a- can maybe We've sent those out. We've sent in some order. badges out. Yeah, I- I've had stations. to learn <laughs> some of them. All right, so let's go in order. Okay. I can't okay. place that one on the fly, mister. <laughs> all right, so first of all, why don't we look for... I have the found easiest? the second one. The second one is going to be the easiest. It's between two trees, like maple syrup and pineapple juice. Mm-hmm. Is pineapple a tree? Pine is. Oh, pine is a tree. I was going to say pineapple doesn't grow on trees. It grows in, like, bushes or whatever. Singular so, ones say... that don't breed again or something, and they're all... Uh, uh, oh, yeah, what, something like that. So the second ingredient is a banana. Great. All right. Okay, so I don't... Have when... you written that down? Yes. Okay. Okay, when it's letters alphabetized, there's a string of consecutive letters with one missing. We've got to be able to find that. All right, that. it's not going to be maple syrup. Nope, it's not banana. Not, be not pineapple juice. Not eggs. It's not apricot. Milk. Milk is... Uh, what? I, L, we're just missing a J? Yeah. Yeah, okay, milk. Milk is that. So the first thing is milk. So we're doing milk and banana. Makes sense. And then we need an item which, when its last letter is removed, does not change pronunciation. Okay. Maple siru, banan, <laughs> pineapple juic, egg, mill, yogurt, <laughs> apricot. Cocoa, probably. No, no, I'm having fun. Don't, don't ruin it for me. <laughs> My mistake. Cream cheese. <laughs> Mmm, cream cheese or cream cheese. Strawberry, butte, vanilla, cocoa. Well, that's it. Nut me, baking sod, sal. <laughs> it's sal. What are you doing here, sal? And his best friend. Cinema, <laughs> coffee bean, flour, cornstarch, and hone. Yeah, let's just go for cocoa. Excellent. Um, item which, if you remove the last two letters and move the fifth at the beginning, get the name of an island. Okay, remove the probably last... Probably not maple... Or probably not la mape, sir. <laughs> We've done banana. Um, probably not pineapple juice. Yeah, it's got to be one of the slightly longer... Ooh, Eggs got isn't it. five letters long. Found what it. about yogurt? Ryogu. Intrigued, what is it? Apricot. Apricot. I skipped over that one. Is cap... Capri. Mm-hmm. Oh, fun. I think I always thought Capri had an S at the end. So do I, but it's not <laughs> French, doesn't. so yeah. why would it? Why would it? 
<laughs> Capri. Okay, so we're going for apricot. Yeah. Then the item which can be anagrammed to its position on the shelf. Okay. Is there something that anagrams to like top corner or something? Yeah. That's a funny one. Maybe. Eggs doesn't. Butter mm. doesn't. Does anything have like the letters of right or left in it? Oh, you got it. Uh, on its individual shelf, yes, I've got it. Ooh, so if you consider this as four shelves, not like two sets of shelves or whatever. Okay. So you would want something that just within its horizontal line could be anagrammed to describe its position on that horizontal line. So in that case, you think like right, left, middle, center. You don't oh, need so any like tops or second or third or something like that. It's like that, yes. <laughs> that and I have found it. Oh, last. Last. For salt. salt becomes last. Ah. Uh, and Whip then we need ya. an item that contains consecutive pairs of double letters. Got it. Coffee beans. Coffee beans. And fair that we should probably have that. Probably have now, coffee, coffee drink. There. And then item that begins and ends with a US postal abbreviation. Okay. There's probably no M-A, UP. M A, yes, but probably not UP. B A, no. P I, don't think so. And C E, definitely not. <laughs> e G, not so much. M I, most certainly, but not L K. Probably not. so not. much. App, probably not. Cur C- and Se. No. Don't think so. St and Re. Not Re. No Boo. boo. And er. Va VA. And La. Ooh, VA and Virginia Lay. Virginia and Laos. Uh, Virginia and <laughs> Louisiana. Louisiana. I think that would right, be so good. Vanilla. There you go. Let's do that then. <laughs> yeah. All right. What are our ingredients, Danny? You wrote them down. Okay. Milk. Yes. Banana. Yes. Cocoa. Yes. Apricot. Yes. Salt. Yes. Coffee beans. Okay. Vanilla. Great. I throw all of these at zero. You <laughs> throw them at zero and she catches them and runs over well, that's to not fun. the. Oh, sorry. <laughs> and she runs over to the coffee machine and puts the ingredients in. She sets the switches and dials and fetches a cup to place under the spout. And as you do so, you hear the bell ring. You look up and it's Arthur Codd Swallow. He appears to notice the music and smiles. Quickly, you hit the start button on the espresso machine. Codd Swallow comes up to the front and says, May I have a swirling sunset surprise, please? No! I tried to do your voice. Get out of here, you're a teen, and I don't <laughs> want you here, Codswallop. I'm, 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 I'm uh, buttering him up. I'm going to be like, you know, you look like a teen. He'll be like, oh my, oh, I'm 45. You think I look like a teen? Thank you very much. So, <laughs> you're a teen! Leave my establishment! I want no young people here! <laughs> he just ignores you. <laughs> <laughs> and um, you ask this question, and you place a cup in his hand. And impressed, he raises his eyebrows. He looks around and his eyes light up as he looks at the booth by the fireplace. He takes a seat and has a sip of his latte. Hmm, hits the spot. He pulls out a notebook and starts taking notes. In next week's paper, there's a glowing review of the shop. Congratulations, you have done it! <laughs> Hooray, we did it! <laughs> Except for that weird mention of hating young people. What I loved the most day. about the shop was the lack of teens. <laughs> if you want a no teen coffee experience, go to this place. I don't know the name. Go to Codswallop Coffee, I'm probably, probably called. <laughs> they renamed it just for me. They renamed it just for me. <laughs> 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 <laughs>